I, everyone, I greet you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. Now, the reason for this video or every other video that I would have put up, amen, on social media, amen, is to bring clarity to the body of Christ, amen, and clarity to the nation at large, amen. And so these are the, this is the only reason why these videos are up, amen, to bring clarity to the people of the land. Praise the Lord. We need to understand that we are the God of the earth, amen, meaning that we are the one who determine what happened in our lives. And so right now we just want to bring clarity to a video that I have done the other day. Praise the Lord. I would have done the last video I have done. Praise the Lord would have speak about the, M the, the prime minister. Amen. The title of the video is called the best prime minister of Jamaica. Now, does this mean that I'm politically motivated? No, I am not affiliated to the PMP nor to the JLP. Amen. But the fullness of it is very simple. The Bible said that we are to give Caesar what is due unto Caesar. Praise the Lord. And that is the reason for that um, video, because let me be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I am 45 years old, praise the Lord. And the most investment I have seen spiritually and physically, amen, is between this government, is this government, amen. Now, what I want you to understand, I'm not talking about the party itself, but the prime minister himself, praise the Lord. He is an individual that seems to care for his people. Amen. You can see the passion which he have when he is, when he, uh, for instance, there is a particular clip when he said, listen to me, the art, the art, of, listen to me. That is why I said that this prime minister is one of the best prime ministers. Because when he spoke, you can actually felt the rem shift because he is someone who definitely care for his people amen and that is why i label him as the best prime minister amen listen bible verse for you comes from matthew chapter 15 verse 19 and if you read the entire chapter you'll get the context but i'll just read verse 19 for you for out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. Comes from our heart. comes from within us as a people what we think we can't escape that personal responsibility what is happening to our people and their hearts that a family can't find it within themselves to settle their dispute without dismembering a member of their family. That a man pull a prank on your bike and you take up your gun and six people dead as a result of that. What is in your heart, man? Chambers is placing a curse. Amen. Notice what he do. Every time he's placing a curse, he use the religious spirit that is called Jesus and Jesus Christ. Why? Because he cannot place a curse in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, you can all listen carefully. What you need to understand is the principle of the spiritual world is you cannot place a curse upon somebody using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. However, you can use the name to do foolishness. Amen. Like for instance, you can rub in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You can do that. Amen. And that is why you have some people. The Bible tell you that their, their conscience are smear. Amen. They are using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But their true intention is to rob you. 
Amen. They always go off for the tithes and offering. Amen. And that is why I tell you that you can use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No, this is not Satan using the name. And mankind are using the name. But because his conscience has become smear, yes, he can use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because he was allowed to do so. But the end of that man, you will understand, Jesus already foretold it. Jesus said, listen to me. In the last days, they are going to say, Have not I cast out demons in your name? Yes, you cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But because you were smeared in your conscience and you robbed the people, amen, you did not take the time out to know me personally. So I'm going to ask you to depart from me, you workers of iniquity. We need to understand, praise the Lord, that while mankind can use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Satan cannot use it. So yes, mankind can use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and do their foolishness, but not Satan. Praise the Lord. So I'm just bringing clarity to that end. Praise the Lord. Now the next thing you need to understand Praise the Lord. The Bible said two can't walk until them agree. Amen. The fact that um, Prime Minister would have come out and said, listen to me, me and Delford Davis are big friends. That is why now Satan, amen, using the form of, in the form of Peter Chambers, zero in on Delford Davis. Amen. He zero in on Delford Davis. Why? Because all along, Delford Davis was praying for the Prime Minister. And so he did not know who personally was praying for the Prime Minister. Amen. That is why the devil was confused because the devil don't know everything. So he was confused because he was wondering, why is it that I'm placing curse upon the Prime Minister? But the Prime Minister is not being taken down. But after the Prime Minister came out and said, listen to me, me and Delford Davis are big friends. That is why the devil now zero in on him. Praise the Lord. Zero in on Delford Davis using Peter Chambers to place a curse on him and his ministry. Now we need to understand that we cannot take this lightly. Bishop Delford Davis, if you, by any chance you are hearing this video, do not take these things lightly. Amen. Do not take these things lightly because as a former Obiaman, amen, this is how witchcraft is done. This is how curse is being placed upon individual. So if you keep quiet, amen, the principle of the spirit world is very simple. The demons are going to act upon it. And I can give you biblical scripture to prove what I am saying. Praise the Lord because what I am saying is also back by biblical scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need to understand. Amen. The principle of the spirit world. Amen. Because what happened here. Listen. According to the Bible. In Acts chapter 16. Amen. In Acts chapter 16. According to the Bible. In Acts chapter 16. Praise the Lord. We're, I'm finding Acts chapter 16 now. As we speak. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 16, verse 17. Amen. Acts chapter 16, verse 17. Hallelujah. We are going to read. Bless the Lord. And it came to pass. Amen. As we went to pray. As we went to prayer. A certain damsel, I mean a woman, a certain woman possessed with a spirit of divination. In this case, a pastor chambers possessed with the spirit of divination. Yes, amen. Which brought her masters much gain. Praise the Lord. Which brought her masters much gain. Hallelujah. A Bible we are read. Amen. So we need to be aware of the spirit world. We need to be conscious. Amen. And so it go on to say, The same follow the church. The same follow the umbrella church. Amen. But because the umbrella, may I paraphrase it now. Because the umbrella church kept silent. Amen. That is why the the, the, the Pe the demons in a Peter Chambers now believe that it have the authority to continue. Amen. 
and saying, listen carefully, and the, 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 the Spirit cried out saying, these men are men of God, the umbrella churches are men of God, of the Most High, amen, which show us unto you salvation. Yes, praise the Lord, amen. But there came a time, because you need to understand the spirit world. Amen. There come a time when the umbrella church needs to come out and say, listen to me. All that you are doing, amen, and all that you are saying, listen what Bible said. And this did she many days. A whole heap of months now, Pastor Chambers, I go on with him foolishness. Amen. But the umbrella church be, must be grieved right now. Amen. And turn to the spirit where in a pastor chambers and command it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And let the spirit know, say, listen to me. You are not of God and you are not a part of the umbrella church because you are of the church of Satan. Amen. You need to come out and let the devil know. Amen. Because what happened is because you kept silent all this time. That is why the devil believes that he can now go after Delpha Davis. Pleasant morning, one and all. This is your Apostle Peter Chambers. In other words, Pastor Peter Chambers. With a pounding word. Hallelujah. Maybe a harsh one. And also an intriguing one. Glory be to God. The Lord has spoke to me hallelujah about two individuals and it is imperative hallelujah i make reference of these two persons that god has dropped into my spirit and the first one hallelujah praise god is bishop delford davis the lord began to speak to me about the man of god and the lord brought me back hallelujah as he spoke to me in a vision in the 90s when this bishop was on the fire the power of god was upon his life as never before glory be to god but as time went by he became successful hallelujah had one of the biggest churches hallelujah in the region glory be to god everything begin to prosper but he lost one thing hallelujah the power that he had in the 90s i remember as a young man you just came out of hallelujah high school and was attending praise god college i would listen to the fire that burns expressly or out of this man of god but as time went by hallelujah he lost the power he lost the fire and the lord brought me back to samson hallelujah he had such power that he used hallelujah the, 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 the jawbone of a donkey and killed thousands of men but there came a time that his power was tested wealth came money came affluence came everything woman came and tested the power hallelujah the bible said there was a woman by the name of delilah who came in hallelujah and mesmerized the power in his life this one is not a woman it was power money and wealth that came into the bishop's life and the lord spoke to me to speak to him with the authority of the heavenlies he says that you need to go back hallelujah to that place that you once were where fire was spitting out of your mouth and the lord says i'm to tell you bishop go back hallelujah to the videos that was done or the audios that were done on the radio in the 90s where they were raw power raw 
torrent of the power that was exhibiting out of your spirit. The Lord says you need to get back to that place and you need to repent of your sin. He told me to tell you, man of God, that all the umbrella church and the evangelical church, the ministers, the pastors, the bishops were under this organization that represents the body of Christ in this land. The Lord said you all need to repent and turn from your wicked ways. You are bow to the system of the one world order. You have sold out the church. And you have got to give an account. Every very one of you. The Lord says speak with authority and power. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I feel the fire of God upon my life. Man of God. The Lord says there is a writing upon the wall of Jamaica. And Christianity has bowed to the system because of this government. You have been in agreement with the evil that this government has exhibited against the the body of Christ. They have locked down the church. They have resisted the church. They have opposed. Hallelujah. The freedom. It was bar Jesus. Amen. He was then called Elimas. Amen. So this is the same thing that is happening. Everything that is happening on the face of the earth. Listen carefully. Nothing on you. Amen. So what happened now is that bar Jesus in the form of Peter Chambers. Yes, Peter Chambers is now in the form of Bar Jesus. And he's now acting, he now attacking the Prime Minister. And so what happened is very simple. Because the umbrella churches has kept quiet. That is why the, 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 the spirit now believes that it has the authority. Amen. And so because the church had kept quiet, all this time the church kept quiet. Amen. That is why the devil believed now that he have the authority to come in for the kill. Amen. What do I mean by this? Very simple. Because the church had kept quiet so long without coming out and next Peter Chambers, listen to me. This associated themselves from Peter Chambers. You know what the devil do now? The devil is making a personal kill. Praise the Lord. What happened is during the time of um, the prayer breakfast at Delford Davis Church. The Prime Minister would have would have would have um, announced during Amen his his um his presentation that him and Delford David is a friend. Praise the Lord. He said, my good friend. You can't believe God. Can you imagine you wearing mass over the pulpit? You wearing mass on the choir. You wearing mass into the church. What are you telling me? That God cannot deliver you? That's what you're telling me? But there comes a woman. Hallelujah. Her life was messed up. Hallelujah. Her life was not anywhere, but the instantaneous connection with Jesus changed her life instantaneously. I want to say to somebody, there must be an instantaneous, praise God, conversion in your life. I don't care how long you have been in church. I don't care how long you have been connected to this great organization, religious organization in Jamaica. The this is why Pastor Chambers can behave like this. Amen. The question is, is he right? Amen. Never find out if the prophet right. Are where the message is coming from. If him come and said, God said, first thing you need to understand, there are three gods of the earth. There is Satan, yes, because the Bible calls Satan a god. It said in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4, the god of the earth, referring to Satan. And then in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, God said, I'm going to make uh, Moses a god over Pharaoh. And this is also confirmed with the book of Psalms 82. Amen. When Almighty God said, I am Almighty God and you are all the gods of the earth. So when Peter Chambers said, God said, Amen. We are not going to rule out that there is a God. Send him. The question is, which God? Amen. That is the question. And so right now we need to understand 
Praise the Lord. What is going on? We need to be careful because Peter Chambers, the devil is using him to release things in the atmosphere. Amen. And he want to play it off as if he's working for Almighty God. Amen. The vaccine. We're going to talk about the vaccine this morning and the emphasis that the global world is pushing for the nations to take the vaccine because they have on their agenda, hallelujah, to eliminate as many persons. Look how they do it now. Hallelujah. They paid a Jamaican woman abroad, a nurse. You're going to see also the politicians of Jamaica who will be paid to take the vaccine to mobilize and to encourage everyone. I pounce into one of my, the prophecies the Lord gave me. It was September 2. I think it was September 2. I gave the prophecy. And I wrote it on my profile. That Jamaica is going to take the vaccine. And I'm going to explain why. Hallelujah. Many have been paid to take the vaccine because they have their agenda to kill to eliminate a certain amount of people look at the last election it was paid out many of our jamaicans were paid to vote hallelujah look into this this very strategy will be used in this land the very strategy will be used among the people, the nation of this land, because they sold out their birthright. They gave up, hallelujah, glory be to God, their moral laws for money and their belly. Amen. We need to understand this is one of Jamaica's youngest prime minister. Hallelujah. So when the Bible said that child shall lead them, Praise the Lord. Listen to me. A Bible is fulfilled right now. Bless the Lord. Because the Bible said a child shall lead them. This is the best prime minister of all time. Amen. Leading his people. Hallelujah. True. Hallelujah. The grace of Almighty God. On various occasions, the prime minister would have come to the church begging for help. Amen. But most of us are too busy collecting tithes and offering. Most of us are too busy on social media, coming on social media, cursing the Prime Minister. Amen. Instead of offering our help. Amen. One such individual is P Pastor Peter Chambers coming on the platform of YouTube and every platform. Amen. Of social media cursing out the Prime Minister. But I'm saying that if the Prime Minister come to you for help and you believe that you have it right, why don't you give the Prime Minister some, some advice concerning how to fix this? If you are um, linked with God, according to you, God speaking to you on a daily basis. But one thing I can understand, you know, you're God chat enough, you man. Listen to me. Your God chat enough. Me, listen to me. That is not the principle of God. God not chat so much. Pastor Peter Chambers, God not chat so much. Daddy might talk to you every week. God not chat so much. And the reason why I can tell you say God not chat so much is because God is a God of his word. And him, if him say A, eh, A eh, him say. And him now go round you. You can go round in circle, yes I know. A eh, A him say. So when you say God has said this, God has said this. What I want you to do, Pastor Chambers, Go back to your God and ask him if he is Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. So when you go back and your God has speak, ask the voice. Are you Jesus Christ of Nazareth? That's what Saul did. Amen. Saul said, when he heard the voice, him not jump to conclusion and say a God has speak from heaven to him. Saul said in Acts chapter 22. Of the Honorable Prime Minister of Jamaica, the most Honorable Andrew Olness, O.N., MP, Prime Minister of Jamaica. Can we put our hands together and make this distinguished Jamaican, distinguished child of the soil, the man who God has placed to lead us at this time. Please make, let us make him welcome in the presence of God. 
associate it themselves from Peter Chambers. You know what the devil do now? The devil is making a personal kill. Praise the Lord. What happened is, during the time of um, the prayer breakfast at Delford Davis Church, the Prime Minister would have, would have, would have um, announced during amen, his, his, um, his presentation that him and Delford David is a friend. Praise the Lord. He said, my good friend. Amen. Isaiah, praise the Lord, tells us. Praise the Lord. We need to understand what is going on. Isaiah told us that the devil said, I am going to exalt myself. Amen. And I am going to exalt myself above the gods of the earth. Amen. So what we need to understand is very simple. Because the umbrella church kept silent all this time. Amen. The devil believed that he have the authority. Amen. And because he believed he have the authority, what is happening now is very simple. The devil is now single out. The devil now single out the pack. I know after... I him not come after the umbrella churches anymore, you know. He's now coming after Delford Davis. Yes, he's now coming after Bishop Delford Davis. And he's now saying that Bishop Delphis, Delford Davis sell out. Amen. And God sent him to tell Delford Davis that he lose the first love. Listen to me. All of us come short of the glory of God. And I'm not going to say that... Bishop Delford Davis you now fall up some of the time. Amen. Because I too fall up at times. Amen. But there are some times. Now, you know what's so beautiful about this? We can't just write off and say Peter Chambers is a madman. We can't say that. And we can't say he might hear from the devil alone. We can't say that either. Amen. But what I would advise Bishop Delford Davis to do right now. Now that the devil show you his intention. Because anytime the devil... Show you him intention. Him have to have somebody to release it in the atmosphere. It happened to be Pastor Peter Chambers. He is releasing it in the atmosphere. The devil is going to come at you full force. Pastor Bishop Delford Davis, the devil is going to come at you full force. In the form of Peter Chambers. Amen. When you see, he, uh, when you see Pastor Chambers preaching like this or speaking like this, he is releasing demons in the atmosphere. And so what is happening now, Pastor, Cham um, Pastor Chambers is now personally attacking Bishop Delford Davis. Why? Because the church kept too silent all along. Praise the Lord. We need to understand the principle of the spirit world. And because the church kept silent all these times. Amen. Let me acknowledge and thank I, I believe I can now say this, my good friend. And so because the church had kept quiet, all this time the church kept quiet. Amen. That is why the devil believed now that he has the authority to come in for the kill. The, the, the last video, the last video I did, amen, I would have said the Prime Minister is one of the best Prime Minister Jamaica has ever seen, amen. It is not because, amen, I am politically affiliated. No, it's not because of that. I said it because during one of his speech, amen, I could have felt, amen, I could have felt in my spirit, amen, I could have felt in my spiritual being, amen, when he said, the heart of man, hallelujah, in the heart of man, he was grieving the heart of man, and that is why I said that he is, it was based upon this, that I said that he is one of, or should I say, the best prime minister, because no other prime minister would have um, would have bring forth a message like this. Amen. He is bring forth. He is bringing forth the message from his heart. Amen. You could have all listen to me. You can also. You can all. See, you can just see. You can see and feel the emotion. Amen. You know when a father grieve over his children or over his child, he said, "The heart of my children." You could have, you only feel it. Amen. And that is why I said that he is one of the 
um, one, what he is the best prime minister and not because I'm politically affiliated. Amen. If I have to, if, listen to you fully. If me I go choose side, which part me live in the two mile era, so I choose the PMP party. So this is not politically motivated or affiliated. If me I go choose, me I go choose because as the era we live in. Amen. So this now have nothing to do with politics. But when he was giving his speech, he said the art of man. Amen. The art of man. And that is what gave him the plus. So there's no question about this government's investment in the hardware. There is no question about this government's investment in the software. But now the government has to turn its attention to investing in the hardware. In the hardware. Because as I reflected on some of the heinous crimes that have happened in the last few weeks, family member killing family member, silly arguments at dance that has terribly injured our young people. There is no amount of policemen who could stop that. If we doubled or tripled the number of policemen that we have, we couldn't stop that family dispute. We couldn't stop the three persons murdered in a rural part of Clarendon, where no crime no happened there, so man just find them way there and wipe out. No amount of police is going to stop that. What, you know, and we have to acknowledge how the citizen and the security forces relate to each other. You see the videos circulating where there is this aggression between the citizen and the police, and it makes it very difficult to do public order policing in particular. But over time, we hope that with improved training and improved communication, we will have better relations. Because make no mistake, the security forces is our last defense against the criminals. And the value of our security forces, you would see, is not just in fighting crime, but they have been very helpful, integral, and essential in managing the pandemic. There is no action that we could have taken as a government to manage the pandemic without the security forces front and center. And they have had to do this while manning SOEs, manning zones of special operations, doing their public order operations, and increasing their investigative capacity never before in the history of jamaica has the police force brought so many cases before the courts because that is what policing is supposed to do our strategy has never been to empower any special squad or any special unit to go and fight crime in the convention conventional and traditional understanding of crime fighting. We fight crime with intelligence and investigation, and then we bring them before the co-equal arm of the state that dispenses justice, the courts. And they are the ones that will give the sentences that will act as deterrents. Our job is to bring them before the courts. And as citizens, I think you will agree, given our resources, given our constraints, that our police and military, our security apparatus, has done a fairly good job. In the last 15 years, 
in our national security architecture. So we have put money into the hardware of national security. You are seeing all the new bikes. You are seeing all the new vehicles. They all have trackers in them. We are putting in place new software systems, new communication systems, cameras for our policemen, new patrol boats, new surveillance aircrafts, new helicopters. We have spent significantly on equipping our security forces, the hardware. And then we have invested heavily as well in the software, meaning our training, which we have expanded, particularly in the Jamaica Defense Force with the National Service Corps. We have put in place new legislation to treat with communities that are violence prone, communities that are captured by gangs, the zones of special operations, and several other pieces of legislation to come that will improve the control of illegal firearms. We're considering amendments to the Bail Act. We are improving how the security forces are run and how they operate. And you will note that this government, though there are those in our society who would say, take off the gloves when you're dealing with the criminals. In our crime fighting strategy, this government will never sanction extrajudicial action. Saul said, when he heard the voice, he not jump to conclusion and say, God has speak from heaven to him. Saul said in Acts chapter 20. Two, verse 8. Who are you? The voice that's speaking to me. Who are you? Peter Chambers, you need to know biblical principle. And that you need to do. Go back to the voice and said, Voice that is speaking to me. Who are you? Amen. And listen to the voice. Amen. And if the voice said, It is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, then you can come. But if the voice said it is Jesus and Jesus Christ, then you need to go to Calvary because it would now mean that you're operating in the spirit of divination. Praise the Lord. Bible account said this is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So we need to understand that your religious spirit, that you are coming in a release demons upon the nation. We shut you down right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. World. I want to explain to us that the pandemic or the pandemic was created, orchestrated to manipulate the sons and daughters from a global perspective. It is a plan. They will not stop this corona escalation in Jamaica and in the global world until they get the world into the system of the mark of the beast. The church must get ready for the rapture. The church must prepare herself. And I'm not talking about the hypocrisy critical church we're under mass six feet apart rukataraba sanitizing their hands but their hearts are dirty hallelujah and turn from your wicked ways because i know that you're going to take the vaccine many of you why should a jamaican of all hallelujah first take the vaccine and the very thing that took place in America is going to take place in Jamaica. Many of you are going to take the vaccine because you don't trust God. You don't believe say God can protect you from day one. From March, none of my members wear masks in the church. We don't wear masks, hallelujah, in the streets. And none of them have contracted the coronavirus. And you had your behind mass to hide a smell your bad breath. Kura Baba Sata. you behind mass hiding like a pirate. Where is your faith? 
Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We walk by faith and not by sight. But the Lord says in the book, my God of Matthew, that he will separate the sheep from the goat. There are many churches that will be going down. There are many pastors who will lose their ministry, lose, hallelujah, their power, lose their money. Some of them, the churches are going to burn down. The churches are going to be destroyed. Some of them, God is getting ready to expose you hypocritical Christians. And though, especially those who are on social media bashing me. Your judgment is knocking at your door. Your judgment. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Touch not the Lord's anointed and do his prophet no harm.